In this problem, we've got a diagram of a reflection. This polygon has been reflected over this dashed line right here at uh, y equals 1. And so here's the original figure, here's the image of the figure, and then they've connected each of the points with these other line segments. And then we've got some questions to answer um, that will show if we really understand what's going on with reflections. So A says select all that apply segment L, L prime, so that would be this one right here, is perpendicular to M, M prime, and N, N prime. So those are all this, the segments that join the point and its reflection. Well, they're all actually parallel to each other, so that one's not true. Then it says L, L prime, M, M prime, and N, N prime, so all those segments that connect the points and the reflections are perpendicular to the line of reflection. That is exactly what's going on here. Absolutely 90 degree angle on, on each of those. So that is true. Okay, then it says those same segments are par parallel to each other. Well, if they're all perpendicular to that line, they're definitely all parallel to each other. And I think that's all that applies here. Let's look at B. It says, suppose that each pair of segments below have the same length. So L, S, and L prime S. So what that is, is, is taking this segment here and then looking at each side of the reflection line. And you know already these are going to be the same amount because that's how we do a reflection. We count how far away it is from the line of reflection and then we count that far beyond. So in this case, it's three units on each side. And in this case, what have we got here? Is that seven units on each side? And in this one, four. Okay. And then it says choose the correct statement about the reflection. The line of reflection is the perpendicular bisector of each segment joining a point and its image. I think we got lucky that this one came first because that looks like the right answer to me. What we've just shown is that each side of these segments have the same measure and they're perpendicular. So that's exactly what a perpendicular bisector is. So that's what's going on here uh, in a reflection and that's, that's how a reflection is constructed.